Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. So today we're going to be comparing two smartphones in the budget price point and you can get the Moto G72 for around 200 and I would say 250 and you can get the Moto G Stylus for 199. So this one's going to be cost you a, uh, a few extra dollars if you want to pick it up. But the Moto G Stylus is the newer device. So they're pretty similar but there's going to be some differences that i want to point out but if you're brand new to the channel i truly appreciate you for coming through make sure you stay locked into the end of the video and if you're already a part of the crew salute so first i wanted to go over what comes in the box and obviously you're going to get the eco-friendly packaging with the motorola g stylus it's going to come with the sim removers um tool it's going to also come with your um, cord which is type A to type C and um, I think that's going to be pretty much it it's not going to come with the power brick like you would expect it to so I just kind of wanted to throw that out there okay all right so now we have the Moto G72 on the left and so let's show you what comes in the box you actually get a case with the G72 you also do get um, inside of here a power brick that charges at 33 watts fast charge you're also going to get the uh, uh, type c to type a cord and then they also do offer you a sim remover tool but i actually took it out and started using it so it's not in here right now now when it comes to the textures of both phones the moto g stylus is a little bit more slippery because it's like it's got that matte texture to it, but it just feels more slippery. This one feels like satin and it feels like, 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 um, it just feels real smooth. This one has a little bit of the same texture to it, but it just, ha it's a little bit more slippery. I don't know how to describe it, but, um, you know, you can see right here, they both have two cameras, um, large lenses but this is going to also have a third camera lens that I'll get into in a ju just a second um, they're both going to have stereo speakers which is cool you get a microphone up top um, Dolby Atmos speaker quality is um, actually going to be something that stands out with this one because it's not going to only work with Bluetooth and headphones but it's also going to work with the speakers that are in, um, in here and you could see that the moto g 72 is a little bit wider when it comes to the overall body and the uh, moto g stylus is a little bit more narrow so i just kind of wanted to show you that we do get a stylus on the g stylus and headphone jacks on both type c for both and microphones on the bottom for both as well so I, um you know we're going to jump into this displays and kind of um, talk about both of these devices when it comes to the displays right now, okay? Now, when it comes to the displays, both of these devices are actually going to be pretty decent. Obviously, you're going to get a better display when it comes to the, um, the Moto G72. And I'm going to tell you why right now when we go into settings. You're going to notice that the screen is a little bit brighter on the G72, actually a lot brighter. And so let me go into a display real quick and show you um, some of the settings right here. But I actually want to turn off adaptive brightness because when those are on, it, the, the, no matter how bright you put it, it's going to always go back down. So let's just turn it off for this video. And then you're going to notice that when it comes to the displays on both of these devices, we do get high refresh rate. And so um, you can see right here on the Moto g stylus on the right if you look at the display face on it looks really good and you get the option to mess around with the 90 hertz or 60 or auto and on the g72 which is a lot lighter by the way it's a the this is 166 grams of weight and this one's a little bit you could feel it's a just heavier it has it's 195 so you could definitely feel the weight difference. So this is a really lightweight device. I definitely like prefer the weight of this one, even though this one has a lot more. It feels like it, it's it, it it's a little bit more pricey because of the weight, but it's actually a lot lighter and it's actually the more affordable device. So with this one, you're going to be able to, I'll show you right here on the display, you can actually get 120 hertz refresh rate. 
But if you're still here, just type in the comment section. I'm still here. So I know you're still kicking it with me. And I just want to remind you to hit the like button so we can get this video out to more people and help beat the YouTube algorithm. OK, so one of the things you're going to notice is they both have peak display, which is definitely something that I really like about the Moto devices, because you can actually, um, you know, take a look at your notifications with the screen locked which is a, a really nice part. Now, both of these have the same setup when it comes to the volume rockers and power button on the right side. On the left, you can see that they both have the slot for this, the actual removal of the SIM. And so the fingerprint is gonna be located in the sensor on the display on the G72 right here. And on the G stylus, it's actually located on the power button. So one, two, three and let's try that one more time obviously the physical fingerprint is always going to be quicker on the unlock one two three and that was actually the in display fingerprint sensor that was quicker which is goes against what i just said let's try that one more time one two three and that time it looked like the g stylus so it's it's kind of up in the air but they're both really fast when it comes to the overall speed now, one thing I wanted to mention is that on the G5072, we actually get IP52 water resistancy, and we actually get a splash proof res resistant design on the G stylus. Now, going over the displays, which I'm going to show you in a minute, there's a big difference when it comes to the brightness levels. Now, some people don't like the brightest displays because they like it to be a little bit more, um, you know, like stealth when they're looking at content you can see we have both um displays are at full brightness and um so let me show you the quality and if i go into the settings on both of these devices i want to show you what the maximum um setting we can put both of these devices on so right here if we go to advanced we have 14, 40, 60 on the G72 and 1080, 60 is the max on the G stylus. And so I'm just showing you how the screens look side by side. And when I'm looking at them at an angle, I noticed that I did notice that the um, G72 was a lot more brighter. When you look at them face down and you're looking directly down on the displays, you can see that the G7 uh, stylus actually starts to look better when you look at it from a from a face to face angle. But as soon as you look at it from an, a different angle, that's when the display starts to dim a little bit. But we are getting a 20 by 9 aspect ratio on both. The G Stylo is going to have a 720 by 1600 HD plus display. And the G72 is going to have a 1080 by 2400 full HD plus display. And it's going to be an OLED panel. And the G Stylus is going to be an LCD IPS display. And the G72 is going to have 399 pixels per inch at high density. Whereas the G Stylus is going to have 270 pixels per inch at medium density. And they both offer the pole punch notch as well. So I'm going to do an audio test with both devices and see which one sounds the loudest. So let's compare both of these devices when it comes to the overall sound quality. All right, so let's do the Moto G stylus first. <laughs> Now let's do the G seventy two, okay? All 
right, so in my opinion with that test, it did sound like the G stylus did get a little bit louder, but it did sound like the quality of the speakers was a little bit more crispy on the G72. I also did notice that this one did have a, a little bit more bass, but other than that, um, both of them sounded really good with the dual speakers, okay? And they both have really good features, but just keep in mind the G72 will have Wi-Fi calling on this one. Um, I didn't see that on the G, uh, well, actually, yeah, there is Wi-Fi calling on the G stylus. You also do get wallet for digital wallet on the G72, which the stylus doesn't have. Um, and so I, I think that's going to be another solid thing about the, um, the, the, the G72. You also, one of the things you're going to get on these guys is you're going to get the ability to use Dolby Atmos on both of these and they're both going to have that smart Dolby Atmos feature, which is really cool because it allows you to listen to music, videos, movies, podcasts, or custom and customize the EQ, which I think is something that's pretty cool. But let's do a quick performance test. And when it comes to the performance, they're both going to be really quick and really fast. And you're going to notice one thing is that when it comes to the Moto G stylus, it's giving you a chipset, which is pretty respectable. It's the G, the MediaTek Helio G85 uh, on there, which is going to be pretty respectable. And then on the G, on the G72, you're actually getting the G, um, you know what I'm saying, 99, um, which is actually really solid as well. So both of these processors is going to be pretty decent. I definitely think that it's going to help when it, that it gives you six gigabytes of RAM on the G72 versus four on the stylus. And then you're getting um, for expansion, you're getting 128 on the G72 and 64 on the stylus. So let's do a quick app test. Uh, app Store, one, two, three. The Play Store, one, two, three. And that was the um, stylus. Let's do, um, let's go into this. Let's do YouTube, one, two, three. That was the G72. Let's do, um, inst uh, let's do, uh, I really like the re refresh rates on both of these. Let's do Spotify, one, two, three. And that's going to go to the stylus right now. Actually, I wasn't logged into the G, um, the G72. Let's do Twitter. Wait, I don't have Twitter. Oh, yes, I do. One, two, three. That's going to go to the G72, but that was very, very close. Let's do Amazon. One, two, three. That was the G72. Let's do AliExpress. One, two, three. And that was the G72 one more time. And last last but not least, let's do calculator just to see how quick they open up a basic app. We're going to do calculator. One, two, three. My finger missed. Now, both of these do have FM radio. Let me do calculator one more time. And one of the things I like about FM radio is that you can listen to music for free without using data. One, two, three. That was the G72. And so you're going to notice you get this FM radio app on the stylus and on the G72. And so one of the things that just highlights the stylus is that it has the extra stylus so you can navigate. Um, you could take notes. Um, another feature that they added is that you can actually write uh, messages with the stylus now. And I'm going to show you what I'm talking about in just a second. So um, if you go into the search bar and you just go to type, you can actually type right here. Let me see. They're giving you a quick demo and it says try out. Hello. So you, you can actually now write inside of here and that come that you could do that here. So you could just say um, tech and it's actually pretty accurate. See, I just put tech. Um, and let's do the end sign or the and the back is here so let's type out something else c butler let's just see if it c e b u l e r c butler 
so it, it, it did a pretty decent job it kind of missed did the l but you get the idea you can actually draw with the stylus on there and so both of these devices have similar processing but the g72 is going to be a lot better when it comes to the display the storage the um battery life is going to be a little bit better on the stylus because it's going to give you a 720 display instead of the oled panel and so you're going to get similar battery sizes at 5000 on both of these guys 5000 milliamp hour batteries but let me know which one you would pick overall i definitely think they both have a lot to offer um, if you wanted to save fifty dollars go with the stylus but if you want near flagship performance i would go with the g72 because in the camera department you're going to get um some really good things inside of the cameras for the g72 in video they actually allowed you to use um some really good stuff so you get 60 frames per second in the video for the g stylus for the g72 you don't get that that ability to um you know what i'm saying do that with the moto g stylus so they don't i don't think they even let you pick the the these settings that i'm changing right here for the video you can see but you do get macro video for the g stylus but you get 60 frames per second and 30 frames per second for video and then when it comes to the settings it just gives you that but you get this little bar you can drag down that you don't have on the g stylus so it does give you the ability to go up to 60 frames per second um they pretty much have similar features we get night vision on um, both of these things and then slow motion time lapse group selfie you get the dual camera capture for both of these guys which is really cool so in dual capture you can use that for video and you can use it for pictures which is another really cool feature and so you could hit this option and change that the way it looks so both of these have some really good stuff here but you just keep in mind you're going to get slightly better quality with the um, they give you ultra res 108 and ultra res 50 on the g stylus so that's the difference between the camera but let me know what you guys think about both of these devices i'm gonna check you guys later I'll get right back with you but make sure you leave a like in the comment section and show your support and appreciation just type i'm still here if you made it to the end of the video and i'll get right back with you okay later crew peace